Hi, welcome to our reading for the end of December 2016. Remember, it's a general reading. See what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, praying about. We're all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing at the same time at the same pace. So see what feels right for you. It could be one sign and that brings you clarity. It could be the whole reading. It could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everybody. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. How you ride these energetic waves that come through here is always up to you. Is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave? Preparing for that wave? Crashing into the wave? Riding the wave or ignoring the wave? Also, feel free to make this an interactive video if you want to pull some cards for yourself. And if you have some time, definitely try to check out the playlist, the music below. See if there's some personal messages for you in the lyrics, the music. The videos just enjoy the tunes thank you for being here i love you guys and i'll see you in a moment for the reading libra welcome to our reading for libra sun moon and rising for the last third of december 2016 so december 22nd through the 31st we're going to start with the guardian angel tarot let's see what god source holy spirit our higher self Angels and energies of love have for the highest, greatest good of all. Let's get clarity and focus on the energies coming on through the end of December 2016 for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Wisdom. To ride these energies best, let's start with one card. Um... Fourteen. So this is temperance. This is nice. This in this deck, it's a win-win solution. So it's finding the way that everybody can benefit. I also feel like there's maybe a helpful like grandpa or grandma or mom or dad or neighbor or like somebody who's done your job but like 30 years longer than you. And they might, might might not know the computer system so well, but they might have some really good advice on some good handy methods for whatever you do to have you um, find some, some, like, I feel like you need to get something smooth and running. So maybe this is advice for you, or you could be that witty, savvy, like, you know, with it on the technology kind of doesn't have to be a younger energy. You could be, you could be 75 and still be really good with the old computers and helping out a kid. But I'm getting like a younger energy kind of like picks things up quick. And maybe there's a way for you to reach out to like a mom and pop store and help them make a website, you know, or somebody in your family that wants to do something and you know how to do it. You can help them out. Um, I feel like it's not really hard for you or for someone else. So it looks hard to you, you know, that thing you always wanted to do, but someone else makes it look easy. And maybe you just need to ask them for some advice on how they make it look so easy. You try to do it. It's not so easy. Or, you know, there's you that knows how to get something up and running and get it flowing nice and someone's just stumbling or you know, maybe they have a totally different method or means of doing something than you. And now you have to take, it could be like, sometimes when I get this, I get like two bosses or business partners or different clients that are really different from one, one another or two different kids that are like opposite from one another, even if they're twins, opposite desires, wants, needs, personalities, everything. So it's learning to merge those energies, but it's not quite like the chariot, like, Pachaw! it's not that. You don't need to take the reins and hold on. You need to be patient and 
find the middle ground in every situation. Feel every situation out. It's never too much of anything or too little of something. It has to be just enough. But that just enough, like piece of the pie is different for every situation, every relationship, and every personality. So you might need to give a little more attention to a certain person for this in this certain area or for them to learn this certain thing or to pick something up and someone else is quick learn. You don't need to stay there and like look over their shoulder if this is like kids or something or even this this could be you. There could be something where you're just stepping in, you do it quick and then there's something where like you know, you just, you feel like you're back in like trigonometry or something and no matter how many times you read it, you just don't understand where maybe there's a kid there just kind of get like, by the way, you don't have to do it like that anymore. You just go on your phone and you hit this and that's it and you're good and maybe you didn't even know there was something really easy, you know, like maybe you're trying to translate something and there's like an app, you know, there's a way to do a lot of it yourself and you had to rely on something. There's like I'm getting that there is an easier way to do something that was hard or you're helping someone else figure figure that out. It's merging and blending of opposite energies in an artistic nature to make it work. So you have to like, you know, I'm getting somebody mixing paint and say you want to make the perfect shade of pink. You know, so you have red and white and now it's a little too bubblegum for you. You want it a little more hot pink. So you're going to add a little more red. Maybe you even want a little bit of orange in there. If you have it, you know, if you can work with that energy, just a tad. Maybe you're going to put a tad of something fluorescent in there. Maybe you want it to glow in the dark and now you're going to change it all together. But you have to work again and start with the right materials. Instead of starting with regular white paint, you're going to start with white fluorescent paint and then add the color. That was a really weird description for this. However you need to do it to merge the energies. You know, you don't need to always scrap away everything that was done. Maybe there's somebody down the block that wants to paint their wall like emergency weird or would I say orange or pink or like bright pink and you never saw that you were going to use it on your house your fence but there was a little girl down the street that could totally use that in her, in her bedroom so it's not a waste just you know it's like hey by the way I messed up with this big can of paint here I have or I totally bought the wrong color or my husband or wife went to get this and they got it on sale instead of getting the swatch thing that I have what am I going to do with it maybe make some art you know take all the kids in you know in in if you have kids or like maybe cousins or something like that, if there's like, I'm getting like a reunion or party, maybe there's something you, you can do with paint, old paint, or um, there's a way for everybody to win. You're, nothing's going to go to waste here. Everybody has a space, a place, um, a position, uh, a temperament. You know, it's understanding that maybe, you know, this person is amazing and inspiring and bubbly, but maybe not the first two hours they're awake. So maybe they need to come later after you guys get started and then that energy's good when later. Just know the energies you're working with. Not everybody's the same and it's learning that. You might learn that maybe that, wow, this person was great in the interview. Why do they always come in like a bad mood? Maybe they're not in a bad mood. Maybe they're just quiet in the beginning. Or maybe they come in and they have a lot of energy and then they have like an afternoon slump and you need to know that they need some nuts or some, you know, something like a little snack or something or some happy music or a break, a break. So they're not running on empty and then they come back and they have their refreshed self. That could be you. That could be you needing a little break, you know, knowing not to keep going. Sometimes you want to come up with a solution. You want to be productive. But if you don't allow yourself the chance to recharge your batteries and take a break and a rest, you're not going to be as productive as you would be like where they take a siesta. <laughs> that just makes everybody all over happier. You know, it's more stress and people are more productive. They're more willing to help you out because they're not thinking about their next lunch break. They know they get to take a rest. So they're not as stressed with what they have. So maybe a siesta, maybe you need a nap. Maybe it just takes a little cat nap in between all those things you do. Maybe don't go shopping. Don't do that. Just Find a place to relax, even just meditate, um, listen to some music. You know, sometimes a cat nap can make a big difference. Sometimes you get a really good answer right before you fall asleep. Um, 
a win-win solution. There's strength in diversities. By blending the ideas of other people with your own, you can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon, and then open your mind to compromise and working together. Libra, you're a pro at this. You should be. You know, you could be working with difficult energies that it feels like you're not a pro because, you know, these energies are pretty hard, but you'll find, you'll figure it out. You know, you'll find that balance between the energies. You are that scale. You know, you are that balance between the head and the heart. And maybe like logic and intuition as well. I feel like you're being intuitive, but you have to lose, use your logic. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. And, you know, maybe your just right is someone else's a little too hot, if that made sense. Or someone else's just right is a little hotter than your just right. So be willing to adapt. Uh, let's move along to the... Um, oh, I just lost a lot of these. Hold on. Mm. All right, we're going to move along to the Tarot of Dreams by Sierra Marchetti for Libra and this win-win solution. Win-win. Everybody can win. You don't have to feel like you're losing out somewhere. You have to reach out or allow something in. Find that balance. Take a step in. If you don't test the waters, you don't know if it's too hot or too cold. So you have to put a little bit of yourself in there. A little bit of effort, a little bit of energy. Maybe it's a lot of effort to make it look like you're doing a little, you know? But it take then in that case, it takes practice. It, it takes like something like a martial art where you become instinctual at it because you've done it so many times. Or you're instinctual at the basics so that, I, I think I saw the Queen of Swords. I'm going to show you that because that sort of like came like this. So that could be an air sign. Besides you, it could be uh, a Gemini, a Gemini or an Aquarius, or that could be you, you know, taking control, cutting out the bullshit, seeing all sides of the situation, you know, being able to see who's full of shit and who has potential and how, what somebody needs to do to learn. This could be very independent, focused on your work, um, just getting the job done, um, not too much in the emotion. This could be in your head, but I feel like you have to bring a little emotion in, and I don't feel like that was really your card, but I did look, so I want to show it to you. Um, that could be somebody you know as well. That could be the person that you're dealing with here. It could be another air sign or somebody that is thinking too much, and there's a way to smooth that over. Like, don't think too much. We should just do this. and Or you're thinking too much about something, and somebody comes along and smooths that over. Or just has a good solution how you all can win. You'll recognize that it's good. You'll recognize that it's good for all of you. You'll know it's the right thing to do. You'll know it's the right sort of truth. And you'll know when it's the wrong sort of bullshit. So I would say don't worry about that. But let's let's get a card for you for the end of December. And that's the King of Wands. So this is a fiery king of confidence. So this could be who you're dealing with, balancing energy. Maybe you're male or female. Maybe that peak of the Queen of Swords was wisdom for Libra to, you know, stand up for yourself, stand up for those that have potential, and, you know, if this guy is frustrated because things aren't going his way for some reason, but you see potential in a child or a situation or something to grow, the Queen of Swords would stand up for that thing. Even if it didn't look like it went through the right way or worked out the right way, she can see how it could work out and how to plan things out so it will. So, this could be who you're dealing with. This could also be you, Libra. You could have a lot of fire in your chart, and it's telling you to put your confidence on. You know, be confident in this situation. You understand how to find balance. It'll be okay. I feel like you're maybe ready for an adventure, ready for things to change, ready for some kind of transformation with the fire. Um, 
It could be a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries energy, male or female, but somebody who, um, like, I want to say has really good ideas, inspires you. It's funny, it has the, the, I see the dragons here, and I want to say, like, a Chinese star, so I'm thinking of, like, martial arts. I also see, um, even the, I see, uh, Mar, or, yeah. Sagittarius and I see Scorpio here so maybe there's a Scorpio energy as well um fiery it looks like you're stepping through a hallway but you're stepping through something of stability with the four there's four rods here so maybe that makes me think of the four for some reason that makes me think of like the four of rods, even though this is the king. So maybe there's planning a celebration or there's a way for everybody to win. Maybe this guy as like, I don't know, maybe he is putting, I'm not, I don't know where I'm getting money because I would think that would be the king of pentacles. Um, maybe you're working with a lot of different energies and this is just a big passionate energy that you have to learn how to tame somehow. And find a common ground with I'm going to actually pull another card I need clarity for you Libra so let's get another card uh, another card for clarity on the king of wands and temperance I mean this guy could have a like like a, he could have a temper for sure I mean he could be really calm and like generally really confident and like easy going but you know, even when you're easygoing, sometimes people like tend to take advantage of that. And then every once in a while, you know, something bothers you. You step on a, like a trap and something blows up or you have a bad day. And, you know, maybe there was a situation going on and maybe you just didn't understand that situation. Um, you hit a soft spot or a sore spot or something, you know. I feel like this guy is usually pretty funny. Maybe he's even like a jokester and he joked around at something that he thought was funny and maybe with you and you maybe you or someone else took that wrong. Maybe you can even just smooth over a situation with this guy and someone else if that doesn't involve you and you're sort of like the peacemaker. So let's get another card. Like, like it's okay. Like, you shouldn't have taken that like that. This person's always like that when in the morning. Like, you just didn't know you're new here or something like that. I mean, the king of wands is really confident. Uh, I hear magnificent, hot, maybe sexy, um, maybe, maybe he, like, he tries to overcompensate on doing things because he's sexy or good looking, maybe in some cases he's not taken, um, like, or maybe he or she thinks that they're, like, not looked at seriously because maybe they're good looking or something like that and they're in an environment, a business or something, maybe... It's a sexy male or female, maybe even younger energy, and like maybe they want you to know that they mean business and they know what they're talking about and they they've got some wisdom going on and it's not all about their cute pants, you know, and their their smooth personality, but they actually have some talent or some skills or something like that going on. You know, they can coordinate some stuff, they can back something up, they can put something together. Maybe they're backing you up. Maybe they were um yeah, maybe you're working with this person. They're going to back you up. There's a way for you both to win. Let's get another card for Libra. Well, that's a decision, and that's the lovers. So there is a way for everybody to win. Um, I mean, confidence is needed in your decision here, and freedom to explore, to allow everyone to discover uh, the, their own their own will what they want to do you know this guy has their own agenda or willpower or maybe loss of willpower in a certain situation maybe there was a loss of willpower and now there needs to be a decision made so that everybody can be crystal clear and everybody can feel like they're winning I feel like this could just be something as easy as like Libra, like maybe a relationship with this guy and now it's about making a decision like are we in a relationship? You know, is it like, you know, you just sort of always sweep me off my feet and I just need to know here because I'm starting to feel like I'm starting to make decisions to have you in my life, whether that's 
far in the future or not, you're important to me now. So what page are you on? But it's allowing that freedom for someone. It's not putting, this is not putting, um, this is freedom. There's always freedom here. There's a free curtain. The wind is blowing. It's a choice that comes through. You are free to choose whatever relationship you choose with this person here. This person is free to choose whatever they want with this person here. They're also free to choose whatever relationship they want with whatever happens in their environment. Whoever else they know. Whatever else happens in their world. Their circumstance. Destiny. And then their choice to have a connection with their higher self and God or not. To make the right decision on who's good for them and who everyone else said is good for them. That has to be a freedom of choice thing. You know, you can't make somebody feel anything, but you can choose the right thing for yourself and you can choose to have the right situation and integrity in all of your choices and all of your relationships so that this passionate flame that gets ignited stays lit, you know, has time to rest and recuperate and not run on empty so that you can have time to maybe come together. Maybe you just need a heart to heart conversation so you can make a good decision. You're always trying to run and do your chores and everything and you're running on empty all the time, trying to have confidence to, you know, do your life, go to work, handle the kids, you know, go on a date, whatever. Whatever your situation is and handle it with confidence, but maybe you have to back up a little, reconnect somewhere where you can open. I feel like you have to open up to somebody and make it. I know this is a decision on your own, but I feel like you're making a decision together here, especially with this Libra. You have a win-win situation if you open and you connect your hearts. Listen to one another. Listen first before you speak. You know, I'm also getting Gemini here. So, twins, somebody, a Gemini that you know, and that maybe that's the other air sign. Um, I feel like there's something romantic here, but you have to make that romantic space too. You have the confidence to go and make a decision, you know, have confidence in your decision, and open up to a way where everybody can win. This lover's card could be the choice to separate, you know? It's like, look at that was fiery and whatever, but I need to go this way because this is better for my life. And you need to go here because you need to do that in school or your job is in that way. And that's better for us now. And that's choosing to come together with integrity in your hearts and your soul and your higher selves to do what's better for both of you. Sometimes people come together and then they're apart. It doesn't mean that person wasn't meaningful. You could still have love for that person and be an adult and have that be something that was meaningful and choose to grow or choose to change, or choose to come back together and actually hear each other this time. So, let's finish this reading for Libra with the uh, daily guidance from your angels, oracle cards. Clarity on the lovers, win-win solution, strength and diversity. It might be good that somebody else made a decision that you didn't think was a good decision because in the end it made them learn something and came back to you or made you both learn how to be stronger about this situation but you have to allow everyone to learn just like you have to learn something you don't know what you don't know especially if you haven't experienced it yet and every new experience every new relationship every new person is a new experience it's not like the last one you can't bring that big baggage forward it's about this particular relationship now this could be a business partnership, even with the lovers. It's choosing to have a union and blend energies together to make it work together, to make a choice together so everybody can win. So we can both love being here and not be, you know, shutting doors on one another. That could be you and your, the lovers can be you and your children, you and your kid. You know, I mean, don't make that weird, but you know what I mean? It's, it's having a heart-to-heart -heart bond, choosing to do this together. All right, I really love this, and you really love this, so how can we make this work for both of us? So, let's get clarity on the lovers, the king of wands, and a win-win solution. Um... I just heard babysitting. Maybe there's a way... Maybe this is like a grandfather or something, and there's a way to just, like, have a moment. Maybe if you ha can't have some time with your honey, that's not for everybody, but maybe you need some time with your honey. 
some of you. And maybe if you have kids or something, there's a way to get them to go shopping with grandma or grandpa or your friends or something like that or stay over at a friend's house. You know, if someone comes in and they're like, look at, you know, my kid is totally having a sleepover or we have five kids anyway. Why don't you have them over for the night and you can hang out and do some things with yourself and have a little private holiday get together or New Year's Eve something going on and we'll, we'll hold on to the kids and it's a way everyone can win, you know? So maybe that solution is coming from this King of Wands. So you can have some of this lovers, good deciding, make a moment like that you remember kind of time where it's a win-win solution for everybody all around, you know? All right, let's get a card for Libra to sum this reading up. And that's the only love. Look past seeing the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person, including yourself. You resolute focus upon the love that underlines every situation, brings about healing in undreamed of ways. That's awesome, Libra. Look at this little kid, like holding the, the flying heart by the moon, like tapped into your intuition you know your psychic senses your blessings and your gifts from god from your angels from your spirit guides those messages coming through they might be healing moments you know that offer for babysitting might be a divine moment to have a really good time a really good healing moment that changes a lot of stuff that was piling up and it was just having a good little romp in the bedroom together you know that's all you needed you know, it wasn't really that big of a deal and then you just needed to get some energy out. But it's seeing the love in everything, not just in the bedroom, but, you know, in your in your relationship with your parents and your family and your friends and your kids and at your job. See, only love. People mess up. We all mess up. You are the one that's able to see that mess up and see the beauty in it and see how far someone has come and reach out and extend a hand that you're in the middle and be like, I've been there and I've been here. Let's all get together and make it work for all of us. All right, Libra, I hope this was helpful. I feel like your reading bounced around a little bit, but I feel like you have some beautiful, loving decisions coming through and <laughs> some beautiful, loving times coming through. So even if the times seem like hiccups or something, um, maybe those hiccups bring those undreamed ways of healing a situation, you know? By the way, if you ever have the hiccups, you always take like a lemon or an orange, put some sugar on that, put some bitters, and you say, here, suck on this until I get back and forget to come back for a moment. But by the time you come back, the hiccups are gone, gone every time, as long as you suck on the lemon long enough. All right, I hope this was helpful. I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon. 